up guys thank you so much for joining me for another video um i think now i'm on my i don't know eighth video something like that and um i just am really excited to talk about my six month update of being in my house right now i'm sitting in my living room in a little corner because um i wanted to have somewhere to sit down and record and so um before this video i just before this you know i continue on with the video i just want to ask that you please like share subscribe don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this video um follow us on our uh instagram um the daily dailies underscore yt um and that's kind of where i post like um updates about our videos the cat is sitting here on the couch trying to pounce on my foot because i'm wearing slippers and she sees my slipper moving so she has her little bottom tooted up in the air <laughs> she just jumped at me anyway so she's in a playful mood but anyway so anyway follow us like i said and follow us on our uh facebook um the daily dailies so anyway on with the video so anyway just doing a little small story time uh i was seriously thinking about buying a home i want to say probably three or four years before i actually seriously looked into it like i've always loved looking at houses um when me and the girls drive around and we see a house or like a community that's new or whatever we try to go in it that refrigerator door doesn't look closed come on oh, it's open um yeah so we we always you know used to go into homes and look at look at them and stuff like that and you know i've always known that i wanted to buy a house um i seriously like was putting it putting it on my radar probably a little bit after my grandfather passed away in 2018 i thought about possibly moving off of the street that we lived on because my grandfather just lived a um, few houses down from us and um when he passed away and my grandmother moved i was like okay maybe it's really time because i didn't want to move there they had moved there for me and the girls um and i didn't want to move while they were there so when my grandmother decided she was moving, I was like, okay, well maybe this is a good year for me to um, seriously contemplate it. And then um, that was March 2018 when my grandfather died. My grandmother moved out a little bit after that. And um, I know I always was re-signing my lease by like November or December. So I re-signed my lease um let's say it's 2020 now oh i my i got my notice to re-sign my lease um at the end of what was it more than january um right. actually i re-signed it for 2019 and then we got the new one for 2020 uh around november of 2019 i was like you know what I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna resign. I'm going to seriously look for a house this time. So I talked to my aunt about possibly moving in with her if I didn't find anything before I had to move. And so we ended up going ahead, not resigning our lease, and we ended up moving out of our townhouse in January, January 25th to be exact. We moved out of our townhouse and then we moved into my aunt's house um and um things went well at first um, i think i figured it was time for us to go <laughs> um faster than i thought so um but that kind of happened after i got my real estate agent i got my real estate agent on march 9th 
I hired my real estate agent. She was somebody that I had known through the grapevine for some time, but um, just started really, she just really started getting into real estate, maybe the year that we connected. And um, I started working on my credit at the same time, because that was really my plan. I had a six month plan when I moved out. I was gonna move out in January, give myself six months to pay off everything, and then start looking for a house. Well, Things kind of started happening a little faster than I thought they were. I contacted my real estate agent. I was like, listen, I need to go ahead and apply for this house. Um, regardless of what my credit is looking like right now, um, it's not gonna be perfect ever. So let me just go ahead and apply. So I did that. I applied for my mortgage on May 11th. My mortgage application was pre-approved and um, it was a crazy, crazy process and it was very nerve wracking for me. Um, me and my real estate agent basically became bosom buddies because your real estate agent has to know everything. You gotta be upfront and honest with them, talk about what you can and cannot afford. Like they gotta look through all your, I mean, they don't have to look through all your stuff, but you just gotta be honest with them about what you can afford. And so I was very open with my real estate agent about what I could and could not do. You know, um, I didn't go for exactly what I could go for. I got approved for way more than what I actually bought. But, you know, I tried to stay under my means so that I could still be able to, like, go away on vacation and still do fun things. I don't want to be house poor. You know what I mean? I want to still be able to do other things that I want to do. And so, me and my kids, I always try to make it a goal to do two things, like, vacation-wise a year wasn't really able to do that this year of course because of um COVID-19 we did get to get get away one time this year um and we went to Florida for a few days so that was nice um and I went to my signing on June 16th of 2020 and then I moved into my house um the weekend of june 19th through the 21st so um we actually made our goal way before our goal because i actually i was gonna pay off on my stuff on my credit um that needed to be paid off in six months i wasn't even gonna start looking for a house in six months so um we did all of that under six months it took us five months from the time we moved into my aunt's house till we moved into our um our current home so that was really cool so next thing my tips some things that I, you know, think that you should do. Um, and I mean, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional at this. I just know what I did. And so some of my tips are to one, I have some notes in front of me, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, try to set a plan and stick to it. I knew, I knew kind of the time frame I wanted. So I knew, okay, in six months, I'm gonna have this done. So. I was very determined to make sure that happened. I didn't want to um, overstay my welcome um, at my aunt's house. And so I made sure I had a plan. Second thing, save, 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 save. Like try to save as much money as you can. There's a lot of things that come up that you are going to need money for. Not just your down payment, not just your closing costs. But there's other things that you are going to have to pay for, whether that be furniture. I was coming from a townhouse, so we still had a lot of furniture and we brought a lot of our furniture over here, but there were still a lot of things we did get rid of that we needed to rebuy. So um, definitely my third tip is to get a real estate agent that you connect with, but that you can be honest with. So me and my real estate agent um we were not like really close friends before we um started working together but i started to learn her personality she started to learn mine i know she saw that i was a anxious maniac um <laughs> and i saw that she was cool as a cucumber so that to me worked because she was able to calm me down and when i would call her like okay what's going on i'm nervous da -da -da -da. she was like don't worry about it you got it it's your house like that was just her aura and that made me feel better it made me not be so anxious and so hype about you know what was going on um fourth know what you can't afford 
So before you start looking for a house, don't be looking for stuff that's like four hundred thousand dollars. No normal way, you can only afford a fifty thousand dollar house. Come on now, I'm gonna need y'all to be real with yourself. So same with me. Like I was trying to look for things that was under a certain amount, um, and um, something that I knew, you know, with COVID going on, you just never know if you're gonna, you know, tomorrow you could go to work and they'd be like, listen, we don't need you right now. We need you to stay home. We can't afford to keep you, whatever. You need to be able to afford your place, um, you know, with a little bit of savings that you have up or, you know, if you lost your job, you need to still be able to pay for things. So try to keep that in mind when you buy your house or when you look in to see what your budget is. Um, Another thing is ask a lot of questions. Do not feel like you can't ask questions. It's your money. It's going to be your time. It's going to be your house. Um, it's going to be something that you're going to be living in for a long time. Do not, you know, be scared to ask questions. Um, and if you are afraid to ask questions, then you don't have a good real estate agent. Period. Um, another one. This is my sixth tip. Compile a list of people you know who fix things. To me, that's a good thing to do because like when you are, when you buy your own home, you're fixing everything. Um, when stuff break, well, like my, for my, my first year here, I have a warranty. So if something was to break major, you know, I can call them up and get it fixed or whatever. But, um, you know, after that year, you know, you got to make sure you have a list of people who can come in and help you. So if your, your AC go out, try to have an AC guy, somebody that you um, maybe got referred to by a friend. Um, that's probably the best way, word of mouth, because, you know, they won't be as expensive as somebody else. Um, and even if they are a little pricey, you know they're going to get the job done. You know, you know they're reliable. So, um, um, and, and, you know, landscaping, try to find somebody that does landscaping or do, do it yourself. If you can invest in a, a lawnmower or a blower or whatever you need to do your... Um, grass and stuff go ahead and do that when I first moved in I didn't really have time to get all that stuff I was paying somebody to cut the grass so um, don't know if I'll do that this coming summer I'm gonna try to get my life together and do it myself but you know y'all know me <laughs> um, so another thing I did before I bought my house is I watched a lot of YouTube videos I mean a lot <laughs> I mean, I know my kids was annoying me. I would call them and be like, oh, look what she said about this. Oh, I'm watching it. You know, everything I was watching was about houses. So one um, channel that I really, really, really liked was um, Shahida Hill Real Estate um, on YouTube. And I'll link that below. She really talked about a lot of um, different um, real estate topics like closing costs and um, you know how much house can you afford and what to look for in a real estate agent like all types of videos about buying a house in Atlanta so um, she is a Georgia real estate um, agent which is also a really big help um, and so I guess the only thing that I would say that I um, well let me talk about you know, new expen expenses. That's what I want to talk about. New expenses since moving. Um, definitely landscaping was a new expense because when you rent, you don't have to do the landscaping. I had um, property managers and they just came like every two weeks or every three weeks to cut the grass. Um, another expense that's pretty new is like pest control. We have somebody that comes like every three months and just sprays around the house and um, outside and it comes inside and sprays. And, um, so those are like the two new expenses that I can think of um, that made a big difference. Other than that, at my townhouse, I still pay gas, water, and electric. Um, my first electric bill here was like too much. So I'll never do that again. It's good now though. I have a um, like a set rate now. I had to just establish myself in the house and then they offer me a set rate which is beautiful so um and then things i still want to do here in the house i think i want to still i want to do my my uh deck i have a deck in the back and i want to do like a sitting area i haven't done that we moved in in the summertime and i didn't get like a patio set or anything a grill um not that i'll be using it. i'll probably be calling somebody over here to do it <laughs> um I just need somebody to teach me how to do it. <laughs> so, cause I've never really 
owned a grill i did when the kids was little it was like a real simple grill though it wasn't like something that would go on my patio my patio was big so i'll probably get like a bigger grill but um and um i want to learn how to use my fireplace i have like electric logs in my fireplace so i don't have to use the actual fireplace it's a gas fireplace and that makes me a little nervous for some reason so I want to start trying to do that um and there's some stuff i want to do in the backyard like landscaping wise but and i want to get a fence in the back so but that'll be down the line um current projects that we're doing in the house right now we're working on like a little game area um we have made like off the kitchen a little area where the girls did homeschool and we're starting to try to revamp that area now into like a little game area in the house um and I guess we're trying to be more creative because the, the in all actuality, the girls can do homeschool in their room. They don't have to be sitting in no particular area to do it. And a lot of times they sit on the couch, they sit on their bed. They're not really utilizing an actual workspace. And so I do feel like they should be comfortable when they're doing school because it's already annoying to do school. And it's stressful and it's nerve-wracking. So you should be comfortable, ultimately. So um, we're doing like a little game area with COVID-19 going on kids are really not going out like that and I wanted to create a space where they could have fun so um and are we moving anytime soon I have a three-year plan so you know and you know me and my plans they usually work out but um right now I'm thinking we may get something a little bit different in three years but we're we like it here right now so things could change it could be end up ended up an income property where we get into something else and let somebody rent the space or use it for something we i don't know that could happen we may be landlords down the line i don't know but um right now we just want to make the house a home um and last but not least um i guess my only regret um or something that i would do differently before moving into a home is um getting down payment assistance um which is what i originally wanted but the reason i didn't go with down payment assistance is because um i had to move so soon and i didn't have time to um i guess apply through those lenders because the only certain lenders do the down payment assistance you would have to use certain lenders and my real estate agent had a relationship with certain lenders and that worked for me at the time because i needed to move swiftly so um that was my only regret other than that i got what i wanted i got a home um uh brick um three bedroom two bathroom um, of course, a master suite with the bathroom in the room. Um, I got a laundry area, a nice kitchen. Everything was pretty much redone um, in the house. It was, you know, completely renovated. And so we like it. We, we like it a lot. The cat is attacking me, just FYI. She's attacking my feet, which is why I'm jumping over here. <laughs> she is so silly. So anyway, everything in the house is redone. And... We are really enjoying the home and we just want to do more. We want to do more here. We, have, we would love to have people over, but of course with COVID-19, that's not exactly possible. We have had a couple of people over, but um, not too big, not too many people. So, um, so, you know, what's next for us is just living, you know, living in our home and enjoying our home. Um, and I just want to definitely send a message out there that um, moms, single mothers to be direct you can do it you can do it single mothers out there just do your research make sure you um take into consideration any programs that um can help you and um definitely uh find a real estate agent that is willing to go above and beyond explain things to you not just leave it up to you to do everything i really liked my real estate agent because it wasn't just like okay well contact so and so let me know what's going on no she kept up date with me uh up to date with me she kept calling me updating me on things asking me questions allowing me to ask her questions um don't feel like you can't do this you know what i mean 
Um, it can be done. Um, and it may take time. It took me a long time and it, it does take more time to get on your feet and get established, especially as a single person. You know, it's not gonna happen overnight. And you gotta be willing to put in the work. It's not easy. It does get hard watching other people um, maybe get things before you or whatever, but your time will come and um, just keep working at it. Don't give up, ask questions. There's programs out there and um, if anybody has any questions about anything, you can hit me up at um, the daily dailies at gmail.com um, or you can DM me on um, Instagram or Facebook uh, about anything pertaining to single mothers or just mothers in general um, if you need any assistance with anything, okay? Right, so thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, do the whole nine yards, and...